the Pebble Wiper. After picking up the extruder on your tool changing 3D printer, it is important to purge and then wipe off the nozzle. This is normally done by wiping the nozzle against a strip of silicone and or brushing it on a brass brush. This wiping station can be located directly under the tool's dock or elsewhere on the printer. Wherever it's located, the process is usually the same. Extrude some filament and then wipe it off. But as seen in the last two clips, some plastic can stick to the nozzle or heat block and be carried over to your print. No matter how I sequenced this purge and wipe routine, I could never fully eliminate the strings and blobs that would end up on my print. I even committed the cardinal sin in tool changer 3D printing by using the dreaded purge towers. Even with these purge towers, the strings and blobs could accumulate and eventually collide with the nozzle, ruining the print. Fed up with this method, I took some inspiration from Big Brain 3D's purging mechanism for the Prusa MMU-2 and designed my own purging and wiping system. The pebble wiper is named after the shape the extruded bits of filament make. I simply extrude a small bit of filament on top of a brass brad and then wipe that extruded bit of filament off using a micro servo. Sometimes the pebble would still stick to the nozzle or to the servo arm but after dialing in the purge amount and the cooling, I eventually got it to work perfectly every time. Here you can see how the melted plastic is hardening and contracting as it's being cooled before it gets wiped off the brad. The total tool change time is only 11 seconds, which is faster than E3D's brushing routine and much faster than using a purge tower. The pebble wiper has proven to work incredibly well with every filament I've attempted to use it with, including PLA, PETG, nylon, polycarbonate, Ulta 9085, and soluble support materials based on PVA and BVOH, including Polymaker's Poly Support S2, which I use to print this remote control helicopter frame out of polycarbonate and simply allowed the support material to dissolve in a warm bath of water. A list of materials, CAD models, including one for the E3D motion system, and the macro I use for the wiping can all be found on the GitHub page linked in the description. Also make sure to follow my Instagram page at Kevin's underscore prints to see more awesome projects like this Ferrari F2002. Thanks for watching.